Hey guys, so this video is a continuation on of the thread that we done of that guy's stories. There was just that many of them we couldn't leave out because there were so many good ones. <laughs> so let's get into the video. Can Speller use grammar to save his life in a Black Crusade game? Gets pissy when we don't understand him. Gets pissy when we criticise his ideas or actions, even when some of those actions are clearly retarded from a background perspective. Or just fucking over player characters for no other reason than to undermine them. Attempts to hoard every conceivable resources to his faction in the game and pretend it's for our benefit. Everything is everybody's as long as he's the leader and gets to monopolise some of the stuff as desires. Oh god. <laughs> Whines to the GM enough to get things he hasn't heard. In PMs with the GM, the GM has admitted to me that he pulls punches and doesn't want players bringing some things up in general because of how this guy will react. What? What? How can you even? I, why? I, I, why are uh, tiptoeing around this player? I know exactly. Like that's you know the problem is that's just DM's fault for not like just being like, like mate, for playing in the out yeah. outside. You go outside. You go sit outside now. <laughs> sit in the chair out there and think yeah. about what the fuck you've done. <laughs> has been an abrasive dick, even to the fucking GM slash server admin. But has temp kicked players for offending him. Oh, Which, no. That's that's every that's every Discord server moderator <laughs> I've ever met in my entire life. I'm sorry, but that's just Discord yeah, moderators in general. Which, surprise, surprise, took way less to do to him than he's done to others. Has run a campaign set in the future after this one, with our faction as the antagonists, and our characters apparently still work for him. GM fudged a role so he didn't get a shitty mutation when he died. Why? Oh, look, that's just that's the DM's fault. The DM's well, simping. DM's playing the in. DM is yeah. simping at this point. His character is a blank slate until a situation arises where he has to define them, at which point the character is defined as making the optimal decision. Ugh. Willing to waste party resources for stupid reasons. Went through almost the whole campaign, assuming no one else wanted to get into war band building and mocking people who showed an interest. Creatively misinterprets previous events as though his character's stupid ideas have always worked and on the numerous occasions where other characters made it work, acts like his character did everything by himself. Cried about the meaning of the frenzy talent when it procked and he wanted to keep shooting instead of doing what the fucking rules say. Yep, all in one guy. I'll tell you some stories too. Honestly, oh, I don't God. know how you deal with that. Like, I, I don't have the patience for these sorts of people in general. I would have been like, like boys, no, I, I I'm sorry, I'm going to need either. to find a different game. This just isn't meshing with me. And be honest with you, I think this is more down to the DM just simping for him. Yeah. At the, at, like, you know, at one point, <laughs> yeah. it's like, you know, there's a difference between being nice to someone and being like, oh, you know, he's just a bit off on it. But he's okay most of the time. There's too many examples here. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, there's just too many. My brother and I take turns being GM for our group. My friend's friend wanted to be GM. Sure, whatever, I tell him you can. He makes the whole session about my player, creating a new backstory for him and giving him a son. You never, you know, it's never good whenever DMs are, you know what, your backstory Take liberty on their own backstory. Yeah, that's, on the a, player's that's, backstory that's just a bad sign. Tell him he can't do that because it's retarded. He gets upset and tells everyone I'm being a dick. He can't understand why you shouldn't create bullshit for your party. I've no words. I'm, I've no I've no words at this point. I feel like I'm I'm feel like I'm defeated by these types of people. Yeah. I just I like oh me, you know. Sort yourself out, can you please? Do you know how social interactions work? <laughs> like that's a little question. Like, do you know how they work? You know? That's not how it works. <laughs> no. Playing D D three point five. Only makes sorcerer characters. Only uses one spell. Fireball. <laughs> Every round. <laughs> Fireball. That was grand. You know that was grand whenever we, we got him to play with us. That one time? Yeah, one time we got grand from the Discord and uh yeah, all he did was just cut he just spent all the spell slots casting the fireball. <laughs> but he and he destroyed all the information, like there was schools for like uh we were doing an investigation. And Everything he was, burnt, he destroyed oh, no. it all. Nice good one, Grand. <laughs> nice good one. Even against things immune to fire. Doesn't pay attention to the game. Constantly has T V on in the background. TV only plays Johnny Test. <laughs> that guy hates Johnny Test. Can't find the TV remote. Just keeps TV on. One day, party fights a group of fire elementals. That guy slams fireball. <laughs> keeps healing the fire elementals. Eventually, one player asks if he has any other spells. Have you even read the player's guide? That guy's response. Don't tell me what to fucking read. Rage quits game. Never seen again. Probably still hate watching Johnny Test. <laughs> Why does he keep it off? 
One tries to enforce his shoddy, at best, understanding of European history on a setting that is neither historical Europe nor European-themed fantasy and gets pissy when you tell him to shut up. <laughs> okay. Another makes all of his characters blatant rip-offs of comi- comi book? comic books. Comic books? Well, wouldn't want to hear a comic book point. of comic book characters. So the party was three people who fit the setting. And Deadpool. Nice. <laughs> The third was just needlessly antagonistic to the other players and desperately needed to be in the spotlight at all times. That's one of the things I think you notice about these sorts like people that are over the top antagonistic for the mm. sake of being antagonistic. First of all, mate, I don't even know you. <laughs> so get the fuck out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I've had this like, you know, playing like games at like Google Game Stores or whatever, and there's always like that one fellow that's just a wee bit too it's like mate. You yeah. sit the fuck down there, but you, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, you, you calm down there, you know? Although I do feel like I'm, I'm pretty bad for just lipping off characters. Like, I would do it from history. I'm currently playing Last Putin, for God's sake. Yeah. If, you know what I mean? So I can't really say anything. But it's, di- yeah, but that's different. Yeah, well, at with least the archetype. It, yeah, but at least that can kind of fit the setting. Deadpool yeah. doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's very true. Literally cannot stop being a murder hobo. Murders whenever he can. Attacks party members. I'm an awful evil. You just can't figure out my motivation, so I seem chaotic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what race are they? I'm not telling you my backstory because you'll metagame me to the DM. DM. <laughs> okay. I'll never understand people like this. <laughs> like you know, it's it's the people that always oh I'm mysterious. Mm, you know what I mean? It's like no, you're not. You're you're not mysterious. You're fucking stupid, me. <laughs> Play D and D fifth edition. Yes, I tried other systems with this group before and it never stuck. Ran a few games, played a few. While he had signs of being that guy, I thought they were just quirks and ignored it. Over time we went to online games because some people had to move out. That guy started to get more ballsy. Would go on 5 plus minutes of a solo mission. Always asked for rare items. Is this you? (laughs) I'm not that bad, Megan. I'm not that bad at fucking... (laughs) What? Can I please have poison? Can I please have <laughs> well, this? Look, I'm, I'm, this. Look, look, I'm, I would just be like, you know, you know, I've I've been really looking for like, you know, some poison, and you won't sell me at the shop. You know, <laughs> I'm just wondering if there's any sitting up by. Maybe I can buy some. Like, can I'll I pay for it. it. You know what I mean? Like I've been fucking milking that glider in the fucking basement <laughs> for I don't know how long now. Wanted to go on a killing spree for no reason and general murder hoboism. Never role played unless he got to torture or swindle somebody. If he didn't play a killer, he would play the game like a Skyrim thief. <laughs> I hear he's a really good assassin stealth archer. <laughs> Great stealth archer right there. Even disrespected the DM by saying he didn't give a shit about a plot item he received. And another time because there wasn't any combat that game despite knowing there would be games like that. Never read the basic rules and what his character can do, yet always goes for a min-max character. Hi, is that possible? <laughs> how, how can you not read anything but min-max at the same time? <laughs> how the fuck can you... That takes a little special kind of autism skill. right there. <laughs> Didn't care if his or anybody else's character would die. Once nearly caused a TPK for some gold... <laughs> <laughs> I have never done that, Megan. Like, I have never no, done. But you that. would do that. No, I would. No, the most I ever did was mm, shiny. No, 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 the most I ever did was um, Olan was running that Thunderdome game, and we were able to bet on ourselves in the arena. And I had just got a hundred and eighty thousand worth of gold, but it was all for like money going towards the ships to work on the fleet. You know what I mean? Mm. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bet all my money on myself winning because if I don't make it out, you know. Well, I was pretty much betting everyone else's ship fun. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, look, we made it out all right. There was nothing to worry about. We made the money, all right? And look, I would have been dead anyway. Yeah, we get. Or he just flat out cheats. The breaking point was when the faggot metagamed just by randomly deciding to walk into your room where I was quietly talking to a kobold for some information, where he just decided to kill it when I was only about 15 seconds in. This was the third time he fucked me that game for no reason. After the game, I called him out in his bullshit and to stop it. And his first response was that I was trying to kick him. Yeah, I would be trying to kick yeah. you at that point, to be honest with you. Of course nobody backed me up and stayed silent. Now I'm that guy for calling out some psychopathy who should be shot because I honestly believe he is a threat <laughs> or at least a social manipulator, seeing how anybody in that grub could be friends with him once he took his tism outside of the game. 
I have like you know it's one of those ones sometimes you just need to know when it's time to go yeah. you know what I mean I don't know why are people like this why are they like this why are you running why are you like this you know what I mean that's kind of <laughs> what I feel like sometimes Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. I had one recently. d d group over Discord in Roll20. Doing a fun, quick one-shot because we wanted to play, but a few players, understandably, weren't available around Christmas time. Group of four players and our DM. One of us drops out last second. Fuck. DM grabs someone who volunteered from another channel. They claim to have played before, but don't understand the character sheet, combat or movement. Does not roleplay at all and responds to in-character roleplay out of characterly and acts like we're stupid for not understanding what the fuck he's talking about. I think someone lied. I think somebody lied on their resume. (laughs) Constantly going off on tangents about random shit that no one cares about. What? Megan. Near constant, near constantly loudly cackling on the mechanical (laughs) keyboard. That's you! That's you! Would have completely killed the entire session if the rest of us hadn't held the session together. At the end of the session, Link's album of commission porn of the receipt. Why is that me? Gobby and his porn. Faggot Barden Grip. Literally playing an anime MC. Why is that every bard? <laughs> Dual wielding bard that he describes is suave and full of confidence. Murray. <laughs> <laughs> this is 50% of sessions possibly ADHD faggot that has to throw out of character comments during roleplay and combat when he does play slowing the game down considerably gets pissy and mopey when he rolls poorly I'm so sick of this guy how does one tell the DM nicely this guy's a complete tool can you just kick him so we can get a player that doesn't miss half of our sessions and isn't playing Carito from SAO I don't know. I don't know. No wee words. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what SAO means or Corito, but and we're pretty much. Uh, we we don't really care at this point. <laughs> like you know, I, I've got I've got so many po- poison comments. They're like, oh, I can't believe you don't know this from this obscure anime. It's like, look, guys, I'm sorry. I just don't care. I just don't care about anime. All right. Be at local game store. Guy shows up. Obvious autistic as hell. Weep. Dirty shirt with some obscure anime on it and badly ripped and stained shorts that all together meet the bare minimum criteria to be considered decent. <laughs> I think I like to think of this as garb with the anime uh, with the anime t-shirt, but instead of shorts, it's a kilt. It's a kilt. And the shirt isn't dirty, it's hyper clean because yeah. he wears it and washes it all the time because <laughs> yeah. it's prized possession. <laughs> yeah. Is wearing socks and crocs, and the crocs of unsettingly young looking animal girls crudely drawn onto them. How do you... Uh, no, never mind. Keep going. <laughs> Smells like he hasn't shard in days. Hair is so greasy it's making me feel itchy just looking at it. Has anonymous... Oh, written in marker across his forehead. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Proceeded to act like a jackass to everyone in the store. Outright bullying the 40k and Age of Sigmar players and then saying he was being constructive. <laughs> Constantly harassing the D&D groups to either yell at them to play something else (laughs) or throw a tantrum when they aren't historically accurate. (laughs) Tells the RPG groups that aren't playing D&D to stop being special snowflakes and play (laughs) D&D. When told to knock it off, he'd either start cussing them out or would put on these Groucho Mark Groucho Marx glasses. You know know, the big thick glasses and like the moustache? Oh yes. (laughs) And start trying to white knight himself. Gets kicked out by store owner. Shows back up a few days later. No markings on his forehead. Gets upset when he's thrown out immediately. Saying it wasn't fair. Apparently he thought that because he had written anonymous on his forehead earlier. We weren't allowed to recognise him. <laughs> okay, like, you know, like, guys, I'm sorry. This, this, yeah, this, the black, this. Yeah, the black bird says, uh, of 
Of course, of course this never actually happened, but it was a funny story. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I enjoyed it. I think it was funny. You know, I think it sums up a lot of problems we've got, you know. That guy basically built his own personality around being depressed. Honestly, I thought that was only like a teenage girl thing. E-girls? Yeah, just, I'm depressed. That's my personality. That's it? Yeah. Like, literally nothing else to my name? Yeah. Shows up to game night, tells everyone he feels like shit and is depressed. Every action of his character started with a sigh. <laughs> <laughs> Would actually stop playing, whine for a bit, and then start playing again. He'd never actually leave his chair. Everyone asked him to go get help. You don't understand depression, there is no help. Be me, actually depressed. Talk about being on meds and having done therapy. You're not actually depressed. I haven't seen him in years, but he's still alive and been complaining about being depressed on social media. I think he does it for the attention. Yeah, probably. That's well, sad. And that is sad. That is like, really sad. That's a really sad way to be. You I, know what I mean? <laughs> like, I... It annoys me when people are like, you're not actually depressed. Like, how do you know you're not in my fucking head, though? I know, exactly. Go fuck yourself. How does that sound? It's the same as they don't know if he's actually depressed, but people with depression don't get on like that. No, they don't. I don't think they do. People who want attention get on like that. Yeah. I think people that are people actually, who are people actually, actually depressed, depressed keep well, it in. Well, people that are depressed aren't going to show up to games anyway and aren't going to try and bring attention to themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think we're going to end it here, Spear World, guys. Um, I know this is a continuing uh, continuation on from a thread we were doing the other day, but like the threads are big. There's so many good ones, we couldn't help ourselves. You know what I mean? We kind of just had to. Yeah. Um, but like as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, like you know, like comment, subscribe. It helps us out a lot. While I say it, Megan, do you want a chin to that? Oh fuck off! <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, well, we need some from a catchphrase. Like you no, know, just like, hit the bell. <laughs> like just hit the bell. You know how it is. Hit the hit the notification bell, notification button, and then the actual notification button. How does that sound? Yeah, yeah? we'll go with that. Everyone knows what that is at this stage. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, you know how it is. Anyway, look, as always, Lily, thanks for watching. Lily helps us out a lot. You know, check out the advert, all that other shit, and we'll see you next time. Bye.